This was one of the only engines that I actually had to purchase because when I approached folks from District Water Company to acquire this engine, they said they couldn't really give it to me, so I had to buy it for scrap price. Well, that was £1,800 in 1978, but they did allow me to uh, buy it on the higher purchase, so um, I spread the cost of it over several years. Um, it took us 32 lorry loads of bits to transport the engine from Dover to Fawnsett, and it took us 23 years to rebuild this engine, so it was a long, slow project. But now the engine is fully restored, and it can be regularly seen steaming on our steam haze. In 1983, on the second steam up the museum had, and uh, Roland Francis said to me, he said, I've got a little job for you if you're interested. And so he uh, pointed to this engine sitting behind me here, he said, I need this putting together. It's now taken me 25, 26 years of putting it together, and it now is a long last run. I did have a lot of help from other volunteers, which without their help we wouldn't have been running it now. The labour of love involved with this engine developed. At times I think, well, what am I doing here? I'm being a bit uh, mad trying to re rebuild this engine because basically it was a heap of rust. We spent many, many uh, months literally cleaning paint off and that did put doubts into mind whether I should carry on but the little things in between made me go on and on and on until I eventually um, got it finished and running which I'm quite pleased about. <laughs> when we uh, first ran the engine or t attempted to run the engine uh, we had a lot of difficulty in getting it to start and we struggled all day and it just turned over a couple of times and then stopped and we were about to give up uh, we stopped for a cup of tea, we came back one more time and if it doesn't go then we're all going home. So that we did, came back here, started the engine over and away it went. Now there was no explanation why except the coincidence that somebody looked at their watch in more or less terms, at the time they said, was 1937, which is just the year this engine was built. That, it took us all by surprise. We had literally been struggling all day to get it to go. And then it went. <laughs>